Hey, 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 ladies and gents, this is your all snows Brandon Blind, and we are back here with yet another spoopy game. This one's a little, definitely much more spoopy than spooky, from my understanding. It's called Uncle Panko's Terrible Little Farm, and it... I don't know much about it, except for the fact that I have a feeling the spooks are kind of hidden by the very playful characteristics of this game. Um... Which, usually those type of games tend to be pretty entertaining. So let's go ahead and try what we can see here. We'll turn up the sensitivity just a little bit, so... Get the sound effects the mouse up, and we'll play. We try... I really love the animation. My dear nephew, greetings, Stephen. It is I, your Uncle Panko. Hope that you are well. Your parents tell me that you are soon to graduate. A fine achievement indeed, Quentin. It feels just like yesterday. You could barely walk and talk, and now you're almost fully grown. How time flies. I just realized my camera is totally in the way. So let's go ahead and change that. All right, let's try it up here. Hopefully, I don't have to move it again. Maybe I do. I don't know. We'll see. Looking back, it seems that I actually haven't seen you in person since then. For that, I apologize. I'm just so busy at the farm. Nowadays, which brings me to the point of this letter. I would like to invite you to spend the summer here with me. It would be nice to have some help, and we could make up for all the lost time. If you'd like to suck my offer, Jeremy... Wait, didn't he just call him a different name? Didn't he just call him a different name other than Jeremy? If you'd like to accept my offer, Jeremy, all you have to do is take the bus to the farthest stop at the outskirts of the next town over. Once you get there, just follow the dirt path cutting through the woods. My farm is just around the corner. Hope to see you soon. Uncle Panko. I'm pretty sure he just called him a different name. Oh, are we? Oh, okay. I did not expect that, honestly. How far can we go? Wow, we can legitimately go way back. And we're speedy. Anything else we can do? Is there an inventory or anything? No, it's just... Oh, shit. Um... Okay, maybe that wasn't such a smart idea, because I think this is the... Like, okay, there's the pole. I, I almost got lost there. Because this is incredibly hard to see when you're far back. All right, so follow the dirt road. What dirt road? Is this a dirt path? Oh, wait, this is it. The dirt path. This has got to be it. Oh, yeah, you can see something back there. This has got to be it. I like this animation, even though it looks like this is water and not grass, which is weird. But I really like this. Kind of reminds me of some of those, uh, like Rocco's Modern Life, except with much more three D aspects to it. Kind of like the big, the big part that it reminds me of. Ah, here we go. Hey, it's Steven the Dome. Okay, it doesn't... Okay, I was like, wait a second. It is David the Gnome, though. Um, Michael, my boy. Dude, he's a third name. <laughs> okay, I'm not going crazy. It is a different name, because it started out as something else, then it went to Jeremy, and now he's calling him Michael. So, I'm not nuts. This is a different name. I'm glad you decided to visit. Unfortunately, something unexpected came up, and I'll be down for the first few days of your stay. Would you mind 
doing some work around the farm until I return. I know it's a lot to ask since all you value yourself, but if you can handle it, if anyone can handle it, you can, Robert. Okay, so this is obviously the joke. Um, we left a few more instructions around the house to help you all take care of the majority of work young once I get back. The key to the front door is located underneath the little goblin on the porch. And your room is on the second floor. Make yourself at home, Uncle Paco. All right. Um. All right. That's not a goblin. That's David the freaking gnome. How dare you call David the gnome a goblin? I really like this animation. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I legitimately like this animation, other than the fact that we cannot close the door. Oh, dear lord. Um. Easy to get turned around, though. So, nice little kitchen. A wood stove. Interesting. As you can see, like. The oven, the stove top, and then the drawer to the right side is where you put the wood and you burn like pellets or anything like that. Oh, is it upstairs? Okay, bathroom. Can I close the door? Nope, apparently not. Alright, they said. He said the room to the right. That is the weirdest looking TV I've ever seen in my life. Oh! The door magically closed. Unless they mean, like, upstairs to the right. Is your room. Okay. Wait, what? It's the right, right? Right? Apparently, it's the left. Which makes a ton of sense. Okay, I... Was there a list somewhere? Like, he said that there's lists around the house. Oh, maybe it's in the typewriter. No. Alright, the only other thing that I can think of is we go out this back door. Yeah, there we are. Okay. Now we're into the farm. Like, inside the fences. So, yeah, there's the, another snow out there. Okay. Lenny! I see you found the barn. The cows can be quite rowdy, especially on Sundays, Tuesdays, and the second Wednesday of every month. Okay. So if you hear any odd sounds coming from inside, pay them no mind. I fed them and locked the door before I left so they wouldn't bother you today. Tomorrow, however, I'd like you to let them out to graze. Why do I have a feeling these are not cows? The key to the barn door is hanging in the entryway of the house. Please leave it locked until the sun comes up tomorrow. Uncle Ponko. Okay. Oh. Now magically there's a note on the back of the door here. Dearest nephew, apologies, but I forgot to mention something important. Life out in the wilderness can be a bit rougher than life in the suburbs, especially at night. Not all the time, but enough to ca some caution is warranted. So before the sun fully sets each day, I need you to go inside of the house and remain there until it rises again. Today, specifically, you'll need to make sure to shut and lock the back and front doors in that order. The back, then the front, before going to bed as well. Uncle Panko. Okay... <laughs> Uh, all right, we locked. Oh, what the hell? All right. So I'm assuming we just go to bed now. He also said that our room was on the right, which obviously is not true, so to bed. Right. So it's the next day. I wonder what happens if you didn't lock the doors properly. 
I think that would be interesting to find out. Alright, but we can take this key. I love the calming music. So we can take the key, we can let the cows out, which I just have this funny feeling they are not cows. Oh, there are cows. Hi, guys. Aw, they're so sweet looking. Hi. Oh, shit. Oh, come on. Really? Oh, come on. Why do I have a feeling this is the, oh, it's getting dark out portion of the game? Really? Okay, so it's following me. Yeah, it's getting dark. Okay, the music has ended. This is not good. Alright. Moogie! If you're reading this, you're probably doing well. I'm very proud. Besides caring for the livestock, I'd like you to harvest some of my crops today, the purple stuff to be specific. Grab the sickle next to the gate and get started whenever you're ready. Make sure to keep an eye on your surroundings while you're harvesting. The field is small, it's more like a patch than anything else. But some little rascals tend to hide them there when their crops are the tallest. Don't worry too much about it, just stay on your toes and you'll do fine. Uncle Paco. Okay, where is... Sickle? Oh no, we can't go in there. I... He said something about the sickle, and I don't know... Oh, right there. Oh. The clicker. Oh, I clearly see something over there. The hell. Oh, I see you, you mother poker. Wait, what? Were were we supposed to like run up on that thing and not let it Maybe that's part of it. I think it is. If it's gonna have me. Yeah, it totally is. Okay. So I was supposed to run up on that thing and not let it come back out. Okay. Clearly. Oh, man. That means it's going to have me do this all over again. Come on. Get out. Get out. We know one of you are going to hightail it. You know what? Screw you. All right. So... I will say, the one thing is because it wasn't very clear about it. it, just said keep an eye out. It did not say you had to run and, like, grab it. Um, or to be able to, to be able to mess with it. To be able to get the start over, which is kind of a pain in the butt. And the fact that it sends you all the way back to the point that you wake up. 
little on the frustrating side. All right, so we're gonna. Sickle, bam. All right, so basically I got to chop these all down. Before Duder comes out to play. All right, a little bit easier now. Even though it looks like he's getting quicker. Well, I think he gave up. All right, harvest just. Christopher, <laughs> uh, thank you for doing all this while I'm gone. It's promised you won't have to spend your whole summer here just doing work around the farm. Why don't you herd the cows back to the barn and take the rest of the day off? Just ring the chimes by the board three times exactly. They'll take from there. After that, you can head back to the house, Uncle Panko. And I need to remember to lock the back and the front doors. All right, so charms. Put back in. Look at that. Most well behaved animals ever. Uh oh. Wait, why would I... No! So these, these notes are being left around. Clearly, Uncle Ponko has been around this whole time. Rise and shine. Today is day you're going to meet my chickens, or rather, my chickens' eggs. They should have laid a good amount of them by now. I'd like you to go out to the coop and gather them. There's a basket out in the kitchen counter you can use to hold them. Just put it back where you found them, where you're done. Oh, one more thing. Chickens make easy prey for some of the local wildlife, and their eggs are even easier. So stay on guard and don't let anything sneak up on you while you're distracted gathering eggs. Most importantly, have fun. Uncle Paco. Oh, my God. All right, so... That was weird. Um, Clearly, this is a save point, which is good. I don't think there's... What is with this? For I swear to God, you are Uncle Ponko, aren't you? David the Gnome. Creepy mofo. Alright, where's the chicken coop? Yeah, I don't think so. I can see you, mofo. All right. You turned again. Okay. Weirdo. My boy. Thank you again for helping out around the farm. I know it might not exactly be fun, especially not by yourself, but I hope you might grow to love this land as I have. 
Anyway, I think you've done everything important for now, I think. Feel free to spend the rest of the day as you wish. Just head to bed whenever you get tired. I'm sure I didn't forget anything. Uncle Ponko. Um, what about locking the doors? Didn't give us the opportunity to lock the doors. I'm going to search everything. Can't do that. Can't do that. Can we close the door? I don't trust this. Alright, go into bed. We're going to get woken up by like a monster, aren't we? We're definitely going to get woken up by a monster. this you're going to the bathroom no Let's go outside. Oh. Oh. What the hell? Nephew, I think I forgot to mention something I'd never forgotten before. The goblin that you took the house key from when we first arrived? There's a non-zero chance that it might have been replaced by a gnome, and if you took the key from it, you will effectively invite it into my house to stay. I don't know any gnomes, but one of the neighbors does, and it doesn't like to share. I won't sugarcoat it. You're in serious trouble. By the time you finish reading this note, I'll reckon you'll about to have one minute to find the gnome in the house and give it back before the owner gets inside to take it. Check everywhere you can think of. Around the corners, inside cabinets, everywhere. It could be hiding anywhere. What? Once you find it, just open the front door and throw it outside. Literally, just throw the thing out. Uncle Ponko. Wait, what? Oh my god, it is so freaking hard! Alright, we found it, we found it, we found it, we found it! Are we okay? I think. Oh, that got dark as shit. I'm really lucky that I checked the bathroom instead of going to these cabinets or upstairs. Uncle Ponko, there's my favorite nephew. How great to finally see you after all this time. You're quite a shorter, bit shorter than I remembered. <laughs> I'm sorry I was gone for so long. I hope you weren't too bored about by yourself. Hmm? Notes? Chores? Weird teachers from the fields in the forest? Well, I'm certain I only sent you one letter and left one note on the front door before you arrived. You must have had a nightmare of some kind, and I don't blame you. It can be a little scary out here sometimes, especially on your own. What the f- Well, you don't have to worry about it anymore. How about I make you some breakfast? I'll give you a grand tour of the property. I hope you're ready for a summer of fun. Ending two, Summer of Fun. All right, so there are multiple endings to this, obviously. So you'll probably, like, you don't find the gnome and you die. Or some of the other things that you might do, like, not remembering to lock the doors front and back before going to bed. Probably a different ending there as well. 
All right, if you guys want to go ahead and try to find all the endings yourself, as I said, it's probably not forgetting or forgetting to be able to lock the front and the back doors when he mentions that, and then going to bed, something happens, or you don't find the gnome in time and the neighbor breaks in. Probably the other two endings there. All right, if you guys want to find out those endings yourself, I will leave a link down in the description and the pinned comment below. Um, this was kind of fun. This was kind of fun. Honestly, it, the very dark side. It had it had kind of a spoopiness to it. It really, really did. Um, especially once it started getting dark and there was the whole neighbor thing and there had the time thing to be able to figure everything out there. Um, yeah, so uh, if you guys want to see more content like this, some variety, some scary games, some projects on board, whatever, zombie stuff, Twitch.tv forward slash Random Planet, where I'll be live Tuesday through Saturday, starting again this Tuesday here. We're taking the week off to be able to take care of Sunny because she has um, that eye infection that's going on. Uh, but I will be back on Tuesday, Tuesday through Saturday, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. So we'll see you over there at twitch.tv forward slash Random Planet. As always, may the spooky be with you. And during these tough times, please remember you, your friends, your family, and your loved ones. Please stay safe out there. We will see you guys again in the next Spooky Games video. Bye-bye for now.